All right, how do we get a background in the pivot like this? How do we get this cool, like it's just obviously a picture from somewhere. How do we get that in the pivot so that we can have cool custom backgrounds instead of a generic, uh, just plain white background? Um, let me show you how to do that. Step one, let's go to Google and just find a picture. Now you're gonna need paint.net, pivot, and this to do this, okay? So um, I'm gonna find this picture, and if you look, you hover your mouse over it, I clicked on this picture. When you hover your mouse, it says 1920 by 1200. So we're gonna be changing that size. I'm gonna copy this image, and I'm gonna go to paint.net, and I'm gonna just hit Control V. And when it says, do you wanna expand the canvas? I'm gonna say yes. If it doesn't expand the canvas, what you can do is, if let's say it starts right here, okay, you can drag it out and make it the size you want it to be, okay? So I'm looking at it, it's 1920. If you look at the bottom, it says 1920 by 1200, That's too big. For, for pivot, it's probably gonna be a little too big. So we're gonna go to image resize. And this is very important. You're gonna uncheck any check mark that's here. And then we're gonna make it a smaller size. Um, for what we're gonna be doing, I'm gonna make it 800 by 540, which is roughly still a rectangular shape. You can see the shape is good. I even messed up on mine and it's like, uh, I'm gonna drag that over. There we go. Now you can see the size is 800 by 540. So we're gonna save it, file, save as, and I'm gonna save it as a PNG or a JPG. And I'm gonna save it into my H drive, into my folder, and I'm gonna make sure that it's in my, um, my uh, I'm gonna put it in my pivot folder. And I'm gonna name it BG Beach one, two, whatever, BG background, and then the location. So whatever background you put, BG outer space, BG the moon, BG pyramids, whatever. I'm gonna save it. The number's not important. I put that because I already have a one. Save, okay. Now I've saved my background. Now when I go into pivot, I'm gonna start a new pivot, file new. You wanna save changes now? I'm gonna go file load background. And I'm gonna load the background from my PC, my H drive, go in. I'm gonna find that folder where I have just saved it. There it is, say open. And if it says, do you wanna set the animation to the size of the image, you say yes. Now, this is my background. I now have my beach background. This is not good animating, but I'm just showing you. Now I'm gonna have my character rock off the screen and then I'm gonna have them walk into another background. So how do I do that? Well, this is the first step you already know. You're just gonna find another picture. So I'm gonna find this picture here, or this picture. I'm gonna right click and copy, oops, copy image. I'm gonna go back to paint.net. Now, I've already got the right size here. So um, when it says expand canvas, I could say keep canvas size. And then I just move my picture and I can resize it to fit in that screen, like that. Then I'm gonna save it, file, save as, and I'm gonna call it Beach Background 3. Save, say okay. It's not a great background picture, but okay, whatever, that's fine. And I'm gonna go back to pivot. I got my animation up to there. I'm gonna go file, load background, and I'm gonna load background 3 and say open. So now I have my new background. Now my guy was walking off the screen to the right, so he'll walk on to the left. But that, that, that. Here he comes walks into the beach, jumps us up down, very excited, play, and now you can see the character walks through, and it's done. There you go, that's how you add multiple backgrounds. I hope that is helpful, and here we go, thank you very much.